Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Life on the Edge of Lockdown with me, Jonathan Pitter. Well, I'm talking to you about all things mental health and well-being, whilst the UK is on the edge of lockdown and waiting for the world to find its new normal. The theme of today's episode is around how to wake up feeling energised, how to wake up feeling really good. Now, with all the stuff that's going on in the world at the moment, it's very easy at night time before we go to sleep to let the mind take a bit of a walk down negativity lane. Once we've turned the laptop off, switched our mobile phone off and all the distractions are gone, it's very easy for those negative thoughts to come creeping in. Have you ever noticed how when you're maybe reading a newspaper for bed or you've been watching the news just before bed or even you've been working late, the things that are on our mind just before bed have a massive effect on our mood and how we sleep. So those times when you have been working or watching the news till just before bed, you might have noticed how when you wake up in the morning, you don't always feel as good as you typically would. That's because our thoughts affect our mood and our mood affects the quality of sleep we get. And the quality of sleep simply determines whether or not we wake up feeling energised or we wake up feeling slumped. So I want to share with you a really simple idea on how to fill our mind with the sort of thoughts that create the mood that sets us up for a great night's sleep that allows us to wake feeling energised. Do you remember Room 101? It used to be a TV show with, originally it was Paul Merton, I don't know who's doing it now, and you'd be allowed to put all of the things that you hated into Room 101. Room 101 originally comes from George Orwell's 1984, and in it contains your darkest fears, all of the things you're terrified of, things that you hate. I want to advocate creating Room 102, Room 102 lives next door, right next door to Room 101, and it contains all the things that we like and all the things that make us feel really good. It contains things that maybe we're proud of, it contains things that please us, that make us feel happy. For example, you might have just learned how to make pastry. You might have watched a really good film. You might have just finished a really good novel. Anything at all that's recently happened to you or you've been thinking about that makes you feel good. I want you to put that in room 102, okay? Just before bed, pick between one and three things that you feel good about and then justify why you're putting each of those into room 102. And what this will do is it'll set you up for a nice, put you in a positive mood, which will set you up for a good night's sleep and allow you to wake up feeling better. Because remember, it works on the basis, what we think about affects how we feel and how we feel affects how we sleep. My challenge to you as well, try this out for the next seven days. Every day, every night for the next seven days, put something into room 102 and see how you feel. Well, that's all for this episode of Life on the Edge of Lockdown. I'll be back with more soon. And in the meantime, keep calm and carry on.